<laughs> What's up, you fucking nerds? Um, okay, so let me, uh, let me start this up. I'm gonna go ahead and pause it. I'm starting a new series of videos where it's me playing older games and talking about my specific memories with them. I'm still working with the kinks on my capture card. It recorded, like, the last three levels and didn't capture the first two. I don't know why that happened, but I'm replaying the first two levels, and I'm going to reference some stuff I talked about later, but I'll try to I'll try to keep it where you're all on the same level with me. Um, and uh, then I try to capture it doing 1080p. I don't know why I did that. It did not like that. It was just jutting all over the place. So we're going to try this again. Altered Beast. One of the first games I remember playing. Here we go. Try this again. Rise, Rise from your grave. grave and save my daughter. Epic. Alright, so I, this is the third time I've said, said this stuff. So The first time I played Altered Beast, I think I was about four. Uh, it was the year that the game came out. Get it, like you don't know. Um... And so the arcade version, the at least for the first couple of levels, I'm a little more familiar with this version for the first couple of levels than I am uh, the Genesis version. Oh, can't tell by the way I'm playing right now. Um, I don't want to get that ball, I want to wait. I want to go through the whole the whole first level and give you guys most bang for your buck. Since this is going to be edited a little weird. Kicking zombies in the nutsacks. Woo! Are the guys holding their heads wearing like green tights? Like what's up with that? Like look at that. Yeah, they're totally wearing like green tights. I mean, I guess that's supposed to be the color of their skin, but it doesn't look like it. Cause these zombies have like just tannish skin. So did all those guys just get buried in the same like horribly super purple outfit? Like this is really in. This is like what the Greek Paris Hilton was wearing or something. I'm gonna start referring to uh, when I power up as Magic Miking. Taking off my clothes. It's getting hot in here. Did a bunch of Cree die or something? Because of all the blue, blue ass dudes. Oh, boom! Right in the nuts. Right in the nuts. I used to try to hide from those guys up there. It's like that doesn't work. I also had trouble figuring out that I couldn't jump on their heads, so I was used to playing Mario. And I really, like, Mario, Super Mario Brothers was the first game I remember playing, and I'll, I'll do that at some point. As soon as I become a Nintendo affiliate, or a create other creators, whatever, I'll... <laughs> I'll do that, but I gotta sign up for it first. I've heard Sega's been giving people shit for doing some of their videos, but I I don't know, this is pretty old. I don't know if they're gonna ask me to take this down, but if they do, I'll find another way to put it up. I'll put it on my blog or something for free. Just the trial and error of doing shit like this, I guess. Back off, guys. Get your bony leg out of here. Oh. He punches down. He's like, I'm gonna punch you right in the dick. Okay, enough of this bullshit. Time for the show. <laughs> and it's the only one with like a full animation. The rest of the transformation sequences have like uh they just fade into being dragon or whatever. How to train your wear dragon. I actually just watched how to train your dragon too. It's uh it's pretty awesome. Speaking of things with awesome graphics, jeez. Like even though it's that movie stylized, like some of the like, detail is just breathtaking. Whoosh. There's so much 
faster when you're in your wear forms. Oh, never, never give up. up. I'd like to point out I'm not trying that hard right now. Just trying to entertain people. Ah, it's like the, like the freaking Al Qaeda of zombies blowing themselves up. Trying to skeletons. One of the most foreboding things I thought about is when he does that. When he does He doesn't do that in the Genesis version, he just sort of puffs up. too much too caught up in the fight <laughs> suck it Whoosh. all right uh success i got my settings that first video i, I recorded the first level separately from the second level, just so I could see if all my settings are working. It, it, it works perfectly, so everything's good now. Let's get through this second level. All right, it's slamming it, getting ready to full on magic mic it. Get my clothes off. You know those zombies and weird like white slimer things that can't fly. I just want to see my dick. I want to go ahead and go through all three sections too. Just like the last level. Ah! Uh, I suck. Power up. I wouldn't have been able to go through the uh, ladies' man, which is online. He likes playing Halo with me, but uh, I don't get on Halo as much as I used to, though. Wow, I'm not paying attention at all to those wolves. Alright, let's get Blue Dragon here. He's sad. All these dudes trying to set me off. Let me see. I don't know how many other stories I have. I know I try to code on this game uh, from, I think it was... Sonic 2 or Mortal Kombat, whichever code, and part of the code apparently worked on this game. So I could change like beast forms, I was like so proud of myself on the Genesis version, not on this version. Damn. Power up. Now I'm like Magic Mike Double XL. Channing Tatum. Channing Tatum! It makes me want to talk about Ghostbusters, but I am going to not do that right now because that's like a full long conversation. It's nothing to do with this. Oh my god, I'm getting snaked. Yeah, now that I now that I think about it, this game is really foul, like snakes and punching things and balls and like, go away, white wolf, I'm not gonna get you yet. Woo! Punch him and then kick him. Ah, you piece of garbage. Well, I'm just too strong, I'm too strong, and too naked. Ah. Ah. I'm not sure if I talk about it later on, but if I say this twice, forgive me. Um, Black Tiger. No, I do. I do talk about Black Tiger later. Never mind. I talk about that in the last level. So never mind. Dang. Going through this level so many times is hard on trying to think of things to talk about. 
Let's talk about the sequel a little bit. Uh, I think it's called Defender of the Realm or whatever. It is uh, a Game Boy Advance sequel to this. And it, um... It's okay, I guess. I love that. I love that freaking sound. sound they use one generic sound for all of the non-wolf transformations in the Genesis version. And like the Master System version, which I've never had a Master System. I actually just watched videos on it recently. You, they, you like, uh, transform and then they have, like, the noise after you transform, but it, it's not individual. It's like, Wolf has one and then all the other forms never, never give, give up. up. All the other forms have, like, the same noise. That's another big weakness in this game. Even though it's, like, really designed, like, like, three sections are designed here, you only play a third of it if you're good, and most of the time you only play like two-thirds of it. So you don't really get to see all the game. Unless you suck at it. You don't see him stand up like that in dragon form, like ever, except for right there. And I'm like, woo! And I'm gonna go ahead and play a little bit of the third level since... Oh, the third level's not really there. I think right when I turn into a bear. I'm gonna go ahead and play all three sections, too. Uh... the white wolf. Or I'll play until I get turned into one or, or whatever. But, um, what I'm talking about right when this kicks in in the other video, because I think my problem was I didn't let it process, like you have to leave the, whatever, you don't care about the technical aspects of capturing games, but, um, so, I had these little figures, I think they were advertisements for Tang. And they were these guys with lip, like giant lips. I don't know if you, you remember that if you're like my age, but Tang used to have these little guys with lips, giant lips for heads. And I had figures of those guys, and I used to play Altered Beast with them, but I only had two figures. I had one that was buff and one was in pajamas. I know it sounds weird, but... So the pajamas one was his lower form and maybe this form. And then his buff form was both the wolf and the uh, the second magic mic form. Um, Never give up. I know that sounds bizarre, but when you're a little kid, you do stupid shit. So I was like, power up, and oh my god, I'm not gonna get that ball. Uh, I got it. I'm gonna miss that wolf. I honestly think level design wise this is the hardest level. Those dudes are those zombie punching guys are just everywhere. There's holes everywhere, the holes suck. Cause this game's I I talk about this later, but this game's not for platforming. They should not have tried to put platforming elements in this game. My head stays the same size, but my body's huge. Guys with the tails are like the hand bananas of the 80s. Like tonight, you. He 
just leisurely strolls into that hole, I guess. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and get my orb. Bear! That's pretty cool. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and link this to the uh, other video. And uh, enjoy the rest. See you nerds later, bitches. Hello? Hey! Welcome! It's, uh, the first Buckass Nerd playing some fucking games episode. This is your host, Trimmer Death. Woo! Yeah. So, I'm sure you don't care that much, but I had some technical difficulties just trying to play Altered Beast on the 360. Uh, first thing that happened is Xbox Live wasn't working, and then I figured out that my internet wasn't working, and then it inexplicably started working again. And then I couldn't sign into my account because of the weird ad security glitch or whatever that is. I, I know there's forum posts on the internet about the ad security glitch. If you don't know what that is, look it up. And then there was no sound in my uh, coming out of my TV for no reason with the 360. So I unhooked the HDMI, rehooked it in. Now it seems to be working fine. So we're going to play some Altered Beast. Uh, let me go into single player. New game. Uh, we'll just keep it at normal. Start that shit up. And yeah, my hard drive, which you can see is really full of stuff. Why so. Sorry, let me turn this down a little bit. You can, like, pick it up. Okay, I'm going to actually edit this. Alright, let's start this uh, bitch up. Live from your grave. So, my experience with Altered Beast is my uncle actually owned a restaurant in a place called Tennyson, Indiana. And he had the arcade, oh, pff, the arcade version of this in his restaurant. So I actually played that way before I played the Genesis version. I actually don't even think I played the Genesis version until like 1993 or 4, so that's how long afterwards. Of course, playing the Genesis version after playing this is a little bit of a disappointment because the graphics are so much better. I liked how that first ball had a little get it on it, like, you, you need to get this, dog. I actually found out there's an NES version of this, which I never got. I'm not gonna get that wolf. I wanna go through more of the stage. Oh, pfft. Always hated that. The better you are at this game, the less of the levels you get to see. Always thought that was a weird thing in retrospect. Yeah, in the Genesis version, the pieces don't fly at the screen like that. They turn into, like, weird little... I don't know what balls. They look like fireballs, but I guess they're supposed to be like gut balls. I don't know. I like how they like, just fall apart and these neat little animations. I really liked uh, I really liked the ability to turn into animals and stuff. Like to being able to turn into a werewolf just blew my mind as a kid. So, well, maybe so. Nope. It loves forcing you off the screen. Oh no! Get it! Oh, I'm a werewolf! This is the only one that has a... Uh, that has an actual, like, animation for the transformation. All the other ones just sort of fade into it. Always love that music, too. Doo doo! So, I was so small when I started playing this game, I was four-ish when he, my, my uncle got this game for the first time at his arcade, and I remember I had to get a chair to actually play this game, and it took me the longest time to get past the first level. 
Like I would just fight the guy with the head throwing agar, I think his name is. Welcome to your doom. It doesn't turn giant either in the uh, Genesis version, and the background doesn't turn gray either. I wasn't good enough to avoid the heads, I would just keep being quarters. Oh well, maybe I'm still not good enough to avoid the heads. Ah. Uh, I just noticed something, does he have freaking gills? Look at that. Also, uh, so yeah, I was like four when I started playing this, and I had to get a chair to play it. I remember I was stuck on the first and then the second level for the longest time. I can't even, I know I got to the fourth level at some point, but it took me years. Every one year, my grandmother gave me a bag of quarters for my birthday, so I could just play this all day. And there were other things to play, like he had Galaga and whatnot, but, ah, get off my head. Sadly enough, I bought this on uh, 3DS, the uh, 3D version, but it's like the Genesis version, so it's a little, it's a little disappointing. <laughs> Suck it! Oh no! I'm gonna punch it right in the face. Yeah. Power up. Yeah, I got you. All right, I'll wait to get the dragon again. The enemies are like different colors too. If you're familiar with the Genesis version and not this version, you'll notice like all the little nuances and differences. Ah! Blue dragon. As you can tell, <laughs> despite playing this a lot, I never got that good at it. Yeah, you fuck off, Nev. Jerk. Boom! Oh, no. Boom. Ah. Ah. Never give up. Never give up. I think that's like not in any of the versions of the arcade is that weird screeching noise. I love that. <laughs> ah, I'm gonna try to pause it. Oops. See, like, I wish you could zoom in on it, but like, the snake's head's super gory. Well, it's not super gory, but you know. During the Genesis game, it's just like, oh, here's a snake head that sort of comes off. He's kicking because it's a kick button I'm using. So, this game was the pack in with the Genesis back in the day until Sonic came around. I didn't get Genesis until Sonic 2 came out, so it's probably how late the game I was. Welcome to your doom. Welcome to your doom. I find it's one of those weird games that never got like it got a sequel in Game Boy Advance, but it never got a sequel proper. There was like a, a PlayStation version that came out in Europe. It was called Project Ultra Beast. It had nothing to do with this. It seems like Sega's been doing nothing with their properties except the song and producing some games. Like they produced Bayonetta, which is amazing, but they didn't actually. Uh, make that technically like how the dragon like stood up straight there for a second when i was a kid i always look forward to that i'm like oh, like oh my god he's gonna stand up straight it's gonna be so cool because he doesn't do that normally i always felt like this told a story it's like Neff's turning her into something it turns her into a bird which 
I guess it isn't like nice, but it's not like as bad as it could be. I want that wolf. Ah! Oh my god. Let's get out of here. Jump. You actually see the two heads. Oh, I forgot about that. <laughs> I should have also mention. When I had, did play the 3D one recently, I didn't play this far into it. <gasps> now, I know a lot of people don't like this game now. I'm not exactly sure why. I mean, I know it's not like the fastest paced game in the world. But, uh, it's, not, it's not exactly glitchy or anything either. It's... It's kind of slow, but I think the mechanics of turning into monsters and stuff, and all the original designs of the creatures are always really cool. I always really enjoyed that. Uh, these little bee things just whip my ass. But now I'm playing, it's a little homoerotic. It's like, hey, this dude's getting buff and taking his clothes off for you. And you're just like, oh my god. I remember I had these two, uh... What were, what were they? The, the, the Tang Lips? I think it was Tang. It had those. It had those, uh. Those guys with the giant lips on their bodies. I had one that was like. <laughs> one that was just like in pajamas. Turn them in stone. And one that was like super buff. So the one in the pajamas was the normal form. Never I get I pretend to play Altered Beast and I like here's the one in pajamas he's the normal form he got powered up so now he's buff and then I had no werewolf guy with lips so I'm through your friend ah uh... oh shit I can't do it. Shit just got real. I'm not sure what the story behind the NES one is. I, I looked a little bit of stuff up on it. I don't know if it's in other countries or, or what's up with that. Because there's apparently like another couple of levels that aren't in the American version or in the Genesis and the Master System version actually has fewer levels if I'm not mistaken. Welcome to your doom. And Neff of all characters got put in Racket Ralph, which I thought was hilarious. I could not beat this dude as a kid. Looks like I still can't. I couldn't figure out. You have to, like. Basically, it's the same premise as giving a person an erection and whacking them off. You have to get them worked up and then give them the attention he deserves. I just look like a guy with a really bad curve on his penis too. I just know starting to notice he's really hard to hit compared to the Genesis version. Ah. Ah. Ah, I'm bear, I'm dead. Cause he like goes in behind him whenever I guess you just have to keep hitting him like that. The Genesis version works a little bit differently. He doesn't really take damage until you flip into your ball, at least not that much. <laughs> so I wonder what the story behind the power balls is, because it looks like Neff can take them from you. But does he create them? I don't know. Oh my gosh, he's turning into a bird! Zombies return. They're really tough though. Forgot about that. Seems I forget about a lot of stuff. Up yours. Up. Oh, I'm gonna get you. Power, power up. up. Yeah, they're completely different color palettes. Right in the balls. Ooh, a bunch of brown wolves. Jeez. Oh man, that's okay. Um, 
Black Tiger was another one I played a lot. I actually have that on Wii Virtual Console. I found out that was on there. That game's a lot better than I remember. This is about, like... Like, technically this is as good as I remember, but it doesn't feel like as, like, a groundbreaking game as I thought it was when I was four, so... I mean, of course it's not going to. Oh man, I'm never gonna get... Well, that sucks. Looks like I'm only half magic mic'd right now. They make another Altered Beast and it's just like, Mike, Magic Mike. Magic Mike, double XL. Ah. Oh wow, those guys uh, don't die right away, huh? Suck it. Kicking zombies in the nuts, that's what this game's all about. It should just be called kicking zombies in the fucking balls and occasionally turning into some sort of animal person. I didn't see the video, but one of my friends told me that James Rolfe, the angry video game nerd, doesn't like Altered Beast. That's fine that, I mean, I get why he wouldn't, I mean, it is kind of slow and all that, but I don't know. It just is a special place in my heart, so I don't know what to say to that. I guess you like what you like. I like how there's all those veins on him in this version. Suck it. I think there was only like one time in the arcade where I didn't get all the spheres become the wolf in the first level and I was just like, how do I beat this guy? This is such bullshit! <laughs> Got you. The headbutt him. In the butt. Damn it, I'm gonna have to go to the third section of the level. Ah, oh, you piece of shit. Think you're cool? Sucking me off? Never give up. Kicking zombies in the balls, getting sucked off by little ball monsters, and occasionally turning into some sort of beast person. That's the name of this game. In the balls. Looks like I'm full magic might now. She likes to sing and tell my mind because my mind is magic. She smacked me with your hammer. I wasn't originally intending to beat this game in this video, I think I'm just gonna do it. Fuck it, let's do this. So if you don't know that rhino form in the background, that's Neff's apparently like true form, his real body. Which is weird, so Neff's true form is rock steady. Ah oh, shit. You're trying to trick me. Big surprise, what monster is it? It's a tiger! It's crazy balls. I always wondered where his balls went to. I was like, where's where's his junk? He's got no clothes on. Where's his weird junk? Oh, look at that three dozers online. If you've seen some of my other videos, you know who three dozer is. Three dozers got a big dick. They made it really easy on this one. They're like, here, go ahead and have those power balls. It's okay. You've given us enough quarters. Turn in little skeletons. Welcome to your he changes robes every level, too. He's just like, we gotta be fashionable, guys. This guy, I might have only fought once in the arcade. He looks a lot neater in this form. Like those balls go under- <laughs> keep talking about balls. Those balls go like behind his tail. 
He's got a lot more detail than in the, uh, shit. Than in the Genesis version. I'm always surprised they never made a Sega CD version. I'd be using a little bit more tactic if I were, like, actually trying. I'm not that worried about looking good while playing. Just sharing the experience with you guys. Oh god. That's something that's not in the Genesis version either. It gives you a chance to not get hit when it's going along the ground. Duck. Ah! Oh, pff, that was dumb of me. That was my fault. The little dragons are literally the sprite they use. So the trick is with him is to not hit him directly. You gotta hit him on, like, I'm doing what I'm not supposed to be doing. I'm supposed to hit him, like, in the back or the front. No dead ass. Back it up. I guess I could be hitting him with my little squiggly balls. Jump. A little bit of platforming. That's one of the things that's weak about the third level is that there's all those drops, but it's this game's not really built for platforming. So you end up dying a lot from falls. I remember as a little kid I'd get so pissed. So it's time to get to the embarrassing story of when I was I don't know if I was four or five when playing this game, but I actually uh I couldn't pause it and I had a pee. And I didn't want to miss out on the game, so I uh, totally pissed my pants in my uncle's restaurant. Yeah, that happened. I was like four. That's pretty hardcore. Pathetic. I think it's adorable now. I was like, I gotta beat this. I can't pause it. No one will give me quarters because it's the early 90s or late 80s. Quarters are a lot of money. Suck it! Oh, before I knew what a team was. At least Neff's nice enough to give him some clothes, not leave him like with his balls hanging. Some shoes. So he just really wanted a parakeet. He was just like, I want a parakeet, guys, on a on a Jesus stick. Don't you mean a cross? I don't know. Cross Jesus stick. <laughs> His tongue sticks out. I didn't notice that before. He falls down. That wasn't in the Genesis version. You piece of shit. Oh, these unicorn guys are jerks. Ah! No, my wolves are all gone. See, this this takes your goddamn quarters. See, the only way to get him, I think, is... Damn, dude, I suck. I'm sucking hard. Oops. Never give up. Thanks, Zeus. I turn the little pink spots. Oh my god. Oh, man, that's that's all my wolves too. I didn't I didn't magic mic it up at all this level. We both can play the kicky game. Billy Goat Nutsack. And there's uh, Rocksteady. I I wonder, I wonder. I <laughs> Blood Squirts has his nose. That, that wasn't in the Genesis version. Like I said, I never made it to this level in the arcade. I played this this version on 360 right when it came out, but I honestly played it through like once. Oh my god, you piece of shit. Well, I hope you guys are enjoying seeing me get my asses kicked by fucking unicorns, because this, this is happening. Suck it, Bebop. Bebop and Rocksteady. Fish, fish wheels. Oh, the goats are freaking tough. Give me a... Uh, never give up. Never give up. 
<laughs> Never give up. So I'm thinking about doing some more videos like this, uh, just me going through like my memories of me playing some older games. What that was like, oh my god, what that was like for me. And I know some of you guys are younger who watch this stuff and so, uh, when you were four maybe like Super Mario World was super new or uh, I don't know, Lord, <laughs> Tomb, Raider was, Tomb Raider was brand new. Well, I mean, it's, it's, you'd be like 19, so yeah, maybe, maybe Tomb Raider was brand new. No, no insult intended, 19 year olds, sorry, that, that can sound kind of shitty. Or Halo, there, you'd be 14. If you're, if, if Halo was new, barely within your memory, that's, I guess that's not even a joke, because you could have been like, that still might be 19 year olds. <laughs> Oh, Tremor Death, he's such an old man. Not Gary Oldman. And you just this is this is why this level is the last level. Come on, unicorn. Jump up here. Suck it. Unicorns are the worst. Hear that bronies? Unicorns are the worst. Did I have three chances there? Oh man, don't tell me I'm gonna have to fight Neff. So the where? Oh my god! The two! Oh my fucking god! Oops! Never give up. God, this white wolf! I can't get to him. They're just stonewalling me. Just let me magic might, guys. Oh, I get ripped off. Damn, dude! It's like the Ferguson police up in here. Uh. Because I probably shouldn't make that joke now since, like, a couple of them got shot. That's awful. But I went ahead and made the joke. Okay, here we go, guys. Super Saiyan Werewolf. I feel like that has to be what this is alluding to. Because Dragon Ball Z was... Maybe because because his his fire kick is blue and he's golden, but I don't know if Goku is Super Saiyan quite yet in the series at this point. I mean, he is. He very well might be. I know in the U.S. that wasn't like a thing till the late '90s, early 2000s. But... Avenge me, Rocksteady! Welcome to your doom! In next Rocksteady form isn't even that big. It's just like, hey guys, I'm like the same size as you, but uh, he just whips. You can't even kick him. He is really tough. He's mobile. Because a lot of the other enemies aren't mobile at all. I wonder what. Ah. I wonder what the tactic is not to get hit. Makes those crazy sounds. Also, there are like people who are basically freaking dead in the foreground. It doesn't look like this is supposed to be in Greece. That's Zeus who resurrects you. Who's saying never give up. I don't understand like why it kind of looks like nuclear holocaust behind them. Like, this is today? I don't know. Is this what's five layers deep into the earth because you're always jumping into a hole. Like the first hole really does look like the underworld and the second one's like maybe the logical extensions. Like here's some caverns beneath these nasty ass swampy caverns. Wait a second now. I would have spent like what? It's one quarter of play. Like four bucks, five bucks by now. That's not so bad. I guess it is when you're like five or six. Uh, I kind of wish they tweaked this a little bit. Other than the online stuff, which is really neat, I uh, would have liked to have seen. Uh, 
they have a random form mode on the 3D version, but in the original Genesis port, you can put in a code and choose your form per level. I would have liked to see that. I would have liked to have seen, uh, like, yeah, the random port stuff. I would also like to see the option to use your, uh, second player sprite. I always liked using the second player sprites in all games. Oops. Because you never get to see him. Like, I always liked being Luigi. Because you never get to see it. Unless you're playing two player. Ah, color comes back to the world. Oh. That wasn't in the original. Where Neff turns back into his Uncle Vester self and falls down. I mean, not the original, but the Genesis, I should say. Oh, great. Maybe we found a bird you can eat. Or, if you turn back into a person, you can turn in, uh, turn into a pet. Oh, she turned back to a lady with boobs. Okay. Oh, so he's not turning back into a guy? That's gonna be rough on her. Your pink rocket's the best! Electro Dragon! Does he love the bees? I love you. The ultimate showdown. Tiger versus Unicorn. There's five nefs. Hey, I'm just gonna... It's like the dad in Pirates of the Caribbean. Oh, it's like it's a stage play. He took his coat, his, took his outfit off. What is he... Is that... <laughs> That's cute. I actually never watched that. Oh, look at that. Be Alter Beast. Well, there we go, guys. Uh, thanks for uh, hanging out with me and playing Alter Beast. Listen to me ramble like a crazy person. Uh... I'm going to try to play some Mortal Kombat games in the next coming weeks before MKX comes out. And I'll uh, see you f <laughs>